Hi everyone, here's a short video of what I found in the weekend. I went hunting with my friend Ryan, uh, he's got a Garrett 80 Pro and I've got a Fisher F2 metal detector. We went to the park we've been researching about, and it's in the plains of the city, well it was called a borough back then, in 1906. So because of its age we decided to go hunt there and two hours, uh, I got 16 coins, he got 15. He found a 1886 silver English threepence, which is pretty cool. And that was um, where we'd sort of researched an area where we thought would be silver, and lo and behold, he got some, so it shows that research definitely pays off. I didn't go away empty handed either, I found some very cool stuff. So I've got a uh, English penny, uh, 1929, 1922, sorry, um, and some New Zealand pennies with a tui on it, and sort of got some um, English half pennies, 1920s, 1906, 1936, and a New Zealand penny, half penny, 1965. Got a uh, Commonwealth of Australia, one half penny. Um, I found a, an old 20 cent and an old 10 cent. They were under the 50s in the ID. Found two 1 cents and a couple of half half cents, cents as well. Found an old bullet and a weird disc. Not quite sure what that is. If you know, please tell me. And I found half a key. Also found this. This is really cool. This is an old palm olive soap token. So it says good for one good for where are we good for one cake palm olive soap free when you buy one cake and then it's got um, dealer instructions on the back and it's got the letter C and it's got palm olive company from um, Australasia Co Wellington New Zealand made in USA so that's pretty cool. On Trade Me and eBay and stuff like that, they have them with their in good condition. They're around twelve to fifteen dollars. But it's a very cool find. I've never thought I'd. Well, I didn't even know these even existed. So it's a good thing about this hobby is that you learn a bit of history. So if anyone knows the the era or the age of of these things, um, I tried to have a look to see how old. Or when these tokens were around, I, I, I couldn't find, sort of, I'm guessing 30s, 40s, 50s. If you know, please leave a comment. But yes, we'll definitely be going back to the park. Um, I'll put some photos up too of the council sign for the park. And they helped us with our research because they put up a photo of what the park was in the 1940s and what it was like in 2000 and it shows a road that went road slash walkway that went through the park so that was pretty awesome but yeah I'll put those up as well on this video so yeah subscribe to Kiwi Metal Detecting please like this video and yeah, heavy hunting.